my troopers popping in this bitch popping in this bitch me and my troopers popping in this bitch popping in this bitch me and my troopers your boys back again hello my name is mr j3t aka big sexy aka the kentucky cannon aka the world class badass AKA Chocolate Thunder with Caramel Swirl, AKA Black Lightning with the Peanut Butter Filling, AKA the Man of the Century, AKA DJ Bighead because I'm a DJ by association if you forgot, AKA the Houdini of Sexy, AKA the Shaman of Sexy, AKA, oof, ah, 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 ba, 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 just, just, you know, just a very, just a really down to earth, humble guy. And also, your world heavyweight champion, if you forgot. And today, we're going to be talking about The Boys. So, The Boys Season 3 just dropped last week, uh, last Friday. And Episode 4 just dropped today. So, we're going to be talking about the first four episodes of The Boys. Now, if you need a refresher on what The Boys is, The Boys is basically a show where these superheroes are basically these celebrity type figures and they're corrupt. Pretty much all of them are bad. And the boys is a little team of uh, people that basically keeps the soups in check. And that's basically it. That's the gist of the boys. And it's like I said, before with the boys season three, is out now, and episode four just dropped. They dropped the first three episodes last week. So let's talk about it. I'm gonna try and keep this as spoiler free as possible, but I may talk about a few things here and there, but uh, I'm gonna try and keep this as spoiler free as possible. So I like the tone of uh, this season so far i like how it's very like intense because this is probably like the most intense season of the boys so far because uh homelander if you guys watch the trailer homelander is losing his shit he's slowly starting to lose it a little bit and it shows on camera because almost every scene homelander is just doing some wild shit and he's honestly, like, pretty threatening and pretty menacing. Um, a thing that I read about is that he's, he's, he's emotionally damaged, but he's not stupid. He can be very sly and very cunning when he wants to be. Like, that's really a difference between, like, comic book Homelander and show Homelander, where comic book Homelander, he... Even though, yeah, he can be intimidating, he's pretty much just a grown, uh, immature man-child. Where TV show Homelander, yeah, he's emotionally damaged, but uh, he's not stupid. He and he is kind of a man-child. He's not immature-ish. Kind of, he's kind of immature, but like, he's he can be like cunning when he wants to be. He can't be cunning and clever when he when he wants slash has to be. Uh, and very threatening, too, because he's like the most powerful being in the world, and he knows that. And this season, he's starting to flaunt off that power a little bit because there is a point where Starlight kind of threatens him about releasing a video, and Homelander just straight up says, all right, release it then. Release it. I'm going to... I'm just gonna go wreck shit then if you release it. <laughs> so, yeah, he. People are saying that Homelander is probably gonna snap this season. Uh, I at first I thought that, but I don't know if he is going to snap. Maybe they're gonna save that for like season four if there is gonna be a season four. Maybe they're gonna save that for season four. Him finally going, snapping and going full comic book Homelander. Who knows, maybe, maybe he'll snap this season, maybe they'll save it for for season four, but uh, all I know is that, like, 
Anthony Starr, the person portraying Homelander, is great. He's doing a great job. He comes off as so menacing, while also uh, you, you feel that he's, like, still very immature-like, where it's, like, there are times where he kind of acts like a kid, and it's like, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he can flip that switch. He can be that, but he can also be menacing, too. Uh, I like that. He's a great actor, and he really plays Homelander really well. Uh, as for the rest, the uh, the rest of the cast does well, too. Uh, if you see, if you also watch the trailer, Butcher gets powers. Uh, he gets powers by, uh, injecting himself with temporary V and he uses that to kind of level the playing field a little bit. Mm. Uh, I like how his powers are kind of like a reflection of uh, Homelander's powers. He kind of mirrors Homelander's powers almost like he's kind of becoming the thing that he hates the most and I, I like that symbolism. Uh, Butcher this season so far has been portrayed really well too because like at first he kind of starts to doubt himself he kind of starts to say you know maybe i should just quit but then when something happens he kind of just switches back to like okay we gotta get we gotta kill this guy so i like how like this this series is kind of delving into him more and kind of like developing him more and like we see him actually start to doubt himself and actually thinking about maybe he should leave this life behind but of course if he does leave like we won't have a show so he's got to stay but I like how they're sort of delving into Butcher's uh, psyche and his like motives more uh, I like the whole team dynamic they all got chemistry together and they're really showing how Butcher is kind of is ruthless because there's one point where he tells uh Frenchie and Kimiko that look I think you forgot how this works I tell you two what to do and you go do it all right <laughs> so he was kind of he was kind of being a dick there but you could understand why uh he has his reasons basically so I like how we're kind of delving more into his character arc uh, Huey is also a character arc that I like uh, so far. Uh, this whole series, this whole like season so far is Huey pretty much trying to do stuff himself, trying not to be saved because he says it in the, one of the episodes where it's like, in almost all the episodes, it's like, he says to Starlight, look, you always save me. You're always there trying to save my ass. I'm always weakling. I need to do something for myself this time. So we're seeing Huey kind of try to at least like uh, do things himself this time, trying not to be saved all that much. And he does this by stealing some of that temporary compound V and he gets some powers too. Um, and again, the same thing of how Butcher's powers mirrors uh, Homelander's powers. Huey's powers kind of mirror A-Train's powers. Because if you don't know, uh, in the first season, uh, in the very first like moment of the show, like A-Train runs through Huey's old girlfriend and kills her on the spot. So they got a bit of a beef going on. And just like I said before, just like how Butcher's powers mirrors Homelander's powers, Huey's powers kind of mirror A-Train's powers. Because even though Huey doesn't technic doesn't have super speed, I'm pretty sure he has teleportation powers. Uh, he still can like be somewhere, be here and then there at an instant, kind of like how A-Train does. So I like how his powers is mirroring. A-Train's powers too. I love how he's going through, like, he's slowly starting to become uh, what he hates the most too. Um, I, I just like that whole aspect of the show so far. Uh, 
I also like how they betray this temporary compound V because earlier in episode four, uh, Huey's kind of just, he's, he's riding passenger side in this little van. Uh, you see, he's looking at his arm, these little, and these little veins and his veins are glowing and he's just, and you get, he's, he looks high. He looks like he just took a drug, which like he basically did. And he just looks high off his ass at that moment. So, uh, Huey's, Huey's, Huey's going down the deep end, it looks like. <laughs> it looks like Huey's about to get addicted to this stuff. But I want, I'm looking forward to see where that storyline goes with Huey. Um, A-Train, since I was, since I mentioned him, I really like A-Train. Uh, he's a bit of a dick, but I like him anyway. Uh, he has this whole arc. He's starting to have a little arc in the show where uh, he's, at first he wants to like just rebrand to like this whole Africa thing, getting in touch with his roots thing to at first like just for him to stay relevant because he can't really run as fast as he used to anymore. So he's trying to rebrand to stay in the game, stay up to date and he he slowly kind of starts to care a little more because when his brother talks about this other superhero called Blue Hawk who's terrorizing uh, some of the na some of the people in their neighborhood, A Train kind of tries to speak out a little bit. He's like, "Look, uh, this dude is killing some black people. Like, we need to do something about this." He's he's actually speaking out on it, so he's not just like. That, that gives me a little hope that, like, he's not just, like, this vain asshole dick, but he does care about some people, too. So that gives me a little hope, a little bit, even though uh, what he does in the fourth episode is a bit of a dick move, but uh, I'm not going to spoil that for y'all. I want y'all to witness that for yourselves. But it gives me a little hope. I hope... Like, I hope that's, like, there's something good in him. Because I, I do, I really do like A-Train. He's a dick, but I like him. And I I want to see where he goes this season. Uh, Starlight, she's cool, too. She's consistent. I liked uh, her, uh, her chemistry with... Uh, a potential member of the seven, uh, uh, Supersonic, that's his name, aka Alex. They were dating, they dated once upon a time when they were kids, and now he's grown up and he's a, gonna be a potential member of the seven. So I like their chemistry. I liked, I really liked the Supersonic as a character. I liked him, I liked him a lot. He was pretty cool. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, mm, damn. I'm not gonna say what happens, but all, all I'm gonna say is just damn. Mm. I like I like him. I like him. I, I really I really do. I, I like him. Mm. Uh, damn. Uh, again, not gonna say what happens. I'm not gonna spoil. I'm not gonna spoil that. But like, yeah, it's just uh, damn. Eh, but I do I do like him. I like him. Uh, I liked his personality. I liked his chemistry with uh, Starlight. I liked how when Starlight came, uh, told him all of the stuff that's happening, uh, his first instinct was to immediately stay and try and help Starlight out with this whole uh, Homelander situation. Because the story with this is that uh, the boys are trying to find a weapon to try and kill Homelander, and Starlight's basically there to buy them some time pretty much make sure he doesn't go too too overboard and I liked how his first reaction was not to leave immediately but is to stay and watch Starlight's back I like I like that he was cool he's cool he's cool I like him damn but I liked him a lot uh <laughs> let's talk about Stan Edgar. So Stan Edgar is the CEO of Vought, and 
I want to talk about a specific moment in episode four that just, ooh, so satisfying. Uh, there is a moment where Homelander and Edgar have a little chat, and the gist is, like, Edgar basically looks at Homelander and says, look, uh, you're not a god, you're just a bad product. And it's just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like, Stan, Edgar just, every time, like, he talks about Homelander, he's, Edgar is just constantly throwing shade at Homelander, constantly, like, roasting Homelander. And it's so satisfying to see, because Homelander's whole thing is that he wants validation from Edgar, and Edgar won't give that to him. So he wants, uh, he wants, uh, validation, he wants respect, and he wants, like, he just basically wants a reaction out of, uh, Edgar. And Edgar won't give that to him, and not only will Ed Edgar won't give, satisfy him with, uh, giving him uh, praise pretty much. He also shits on him constantly, which is very satisfying to see. Uh, that whole interaction, Homelander is just standing there, just like, mm, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I just, Edgar is such a boss in this one. Like, I want to see more of Edgar. I'm pretty sure we are, but like, I want to see more of him because he, like, he's just such a boss, dude. Um, one of my favorite aspects of this uh, season so far is Soldier Boy. Uh, Soldier Boy is, I'm not gonna say uh, how Soldier Boy plays into the plot, but he is like a huge, uh, he does play huge into the plot. And I like that whole uh, Soldier Boy arc so far. Uh, he has something to do with like this supposed weapon that could kill Homelander is all I'm gonna say. Uh, he's tied into it somehow. Again, I'm not gonna spoil it. But I like his whole presentation so far. I liked that whole storyline so far. Uh, we get to see him. And uh, Jensen Eccles plays him really good, too. Uh, we've only got to see him in, like, a few scenes so far. But with this latest episode, we're gonna see a lot more of him And when as the show goes on. But he plays the character well. He's pretty much just a douchey Captain America. And I like that. So I liked his whole presentation so far. Uh, one criticism that I will say, though, is that the fight scenes in this are still kind of hit or miss. Uh, the fight scenes are still kind of choppy choppy, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, a character will hit one move and then cut. It's another move. Cut, 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 cut. Like, it suffers from that. And um, not only is it cutty, but it's also kind of dark. In one scene, it's also cutty and dark, so you can barely see anything. So the fight scenes are still a little hit or miss. They still need to, like, improve the fight scenes on it a little bit. But with that being said... The gore in this one is uh, brutal. Like, this is like one of the goriest seasons so far. Like, uh, the other seasons were gory, but this one is like, yeah, there's almost like in the first few minutes, like somebody gets exploded in half from the inside. And it's, it's gory. It's very gory. It's also very sexual. Uh, should I say that? Should I say this? Uh, yeah, screw it. Uh, somebody goes inside of another person. Uh, a soup shrinks and goes inside of another person. Uh, I'm not going to say where in on that person he goes inside. I'm not going to say how he enters uh, the person because that would be a little... Uh, that would be a little too adult for YouTube. Like, like if I said that, if I said how the way the soup gets into the person, it'll probably 
Like, YouTube will probably de demonetize me <laughs> or age restrict me. Uh, so I'm not gonna say how the soup gets in this individual, but he does and he sneezes and when he sneezes he goes back to regular size and he pretty much explodes the dude from the inside and explodes him in half basically so yeah it's it's gory and it's definitely not for kid children so keep the kiddos away when you're whenever you're watching the boys but <coughs> oh, excuse me my throat's a little dry but all in all this is looking, this is shaping up to be a really good season so far. Not good, a great season so far. Uh, I like mostly everything about this season so far. I like the characters. I like where the story's headed. Uh, I like the gore that's happening. I don't like the fight scenes. The fight scenes do need uh, some work, but for the most part, I like mostly everything about this. I can't stress this enough how much of a menace Homelander is in this season, because uh, there's one moment in particular with Homelander where like he makes the deep eat uh, a squid. And if you don't know anything about the deep, the deep is big on like uh, uh, water creatures, you know, saving the, the water, saving the oceans and all that. He he loves like fish and all that sea creatures so and homelander made him eat a squid and <laughs> it that was pretty sad to see because even though homelander not homelander even though the deep is also a dick it was kind of sad that homelander made him go through that but yeah homelander is just a complete menace in this season uh Butcher. I, I can't wait to see where that story goes. I can't wait to see where this whole story goes in general. Uh, Kamiko and Frenchie, they have a cute relationship. I like them as a pair. M.M., he, Mother's Milk, he's also cool too. I like how, I like how he's kind of like the glue that holds everybody together. Um, yeah, it's a really good, this is shaping up to be a great season. Uh, I'm not going to give any ratings because uh, I want to wait until when the season is done to give my full opinion, but to give my full rating. But if it keeps going like this, it's really, I, I think it's going to be a double thumbs up with a J3T stamp of approval. But we'll wait until that day comes. But for now, that's about it. So if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. But, 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 if you really, really, and I mean really like me, consider subscribing and ring that bell so you always know whenever I upload because it is free. It is free. Don't be a dumb dumb. Subscribe today or tonight. Uh, deuces. Deuces.